The topic of this video is graphing transformation techniques, vertical and horizontal shifts. Let's look at two problems. Write the function whose graph is the graph of y equals the square root of x, but is shifted up five units. Okay, so the first thing we recognize is that it says shift, right, in the instructions. That's very helpful. And it says up. So that means that we're dealing with a vertical shift. Up or down would be vertical. Left or right would be horizontal. This says up, so we're dealing with a vertical shift. Vertical shifts behave exactly the way you would expect. Up is positive. And we know that for a vertical transformation, we are going to add or subtract a number on the right-hand side of our equation. So the answer to our question will be y equals the square root of x, and then outside of the radical, we'll put plus 5. OK, next problem. Write the function whose graph is the graph of y equals the square root of x, but is shifted to the left 4 units, as well as up 6 units. OK, so this is an example where we have both a vertical and a horizontal shift in the same problem. The reason why I know that is because it says shift, and it says to the left, which is horizontal, as well as up, which is vertical. OK, so we make both changes simultaneously. We learn that for horizontal shifting, when you're manipulating an equation, it's backwards of what you would expect. Normally, you would think left, that would be subtraction. But in, in fact, it's the opposite of that. It is addition. So that means that we are going to replace this x inside the radical with x plus 4 because of this to the left 4. And notice that I'm using an arrow here. In fact, I'm using a wavy arrow here. Uh, in this particular video course, I'm going to be referring to this as the transformation arrow. This tells me that I'm transforming from something to something different. Now, I also need to do the up 6 part of this. Well, just like up 5, you put plus 5 at the end. For up 6, you put plus 6 at the end. So our new equation is shown here. All right, we've solved two problems.